In this video, I'll show you how to update the advanced room card with some more features, like more sensors and a second column for more devices. If you haven't watched my previous video, you should probably watch that first. This tutorial will begin where the previous video ended. So if you watched that video or got the code from Gumroad, this is what you should have. I start by just doing some house cleaning. I first remove the second card so it's easier for you to see. I also remove the entity. I will instead add it as a custom field later. Then I'm just removing all but one device. Since I removed the entity, I can also remove the state styling. Then I can add the temperature sensor as a custom field. Some of you have asked about how to also add a humidity sensor, so I'm creating a custom field for that as well. I name the two fields temp and hum. The code to display the sensor is just a simple state's Java code. Then we can add the degree symbol by adding a plus sign and placing the symbol inside apostrophes. Then I just copy this code and change it to the humidity sensor. We then need to update the grid, change the S into temp and add a new row by copying temp btn but writing hum btn instead. I know this grid stuff is confusing, it is for me too. Sometimes it helps to sketch up the grid in Excel. Since we now have four rows, the quotation marks above, we need to add another sizing rule to the grid template rows code. This should also be min content, same as name and temperature. I'm just moving the custom fields to the bottom so it's easier for you to see, you don't have to do this. We then need to style the temperature and humidity sensors as well. Pretty basic, just left aligned, font size and a bit lower opacity. In the previous video, I used min height on the state property to scale up the card. But I found that if we add a height property to the card instead, it will be much easier to control down the line. This creates a problem with the icon because of the absolute positioning of the IMG cell. To fix it, we have to add position relative to the icon. Then I'm just adding a slight padding to the sensors to move it slightly away from the room name. All right, let's fix what this tutorial is really about adding a second column of devices. I'm just moving the custom field code up to the top again. First, I'm renaming the button's custom field to BTN1. Just have to remember to update this in styling and grid settings as well. Then I'm copying this whole custom field and renaming it to BTN2. Then we need to update the grid settings again by adding a third column. Just type BTN2 after BTN1 in each column. And then add min content scaling to the grid template columns code. Lastly, we just need to add the same styling as BTN1 for BTN2. But I add some small padding to move the buttons away from each other. And that's it. Even more advanced room card, but still pretty simple to set up. Now it's up to you to add the devices that you want. If you need the card to be taller, you could just update the height inside the card styling. One trick that I do is to create the buttons outside of this editor and just copy-paste the code into the custom field. Mushroom Chip supports UI editing, so it makes it a bit easier than having to manually write the code. And that concludes this room card. I hope that you liked this video and that it answered some of the questions that you've been having. If you got the code for the original card, you should already have an email with this update You'll also find the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time.